What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my first day in the United States Navy and what a crazy day that was. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Uh, my first day in the Navy had to be probably one of the worst days of my entire life. Uh, mind you, at the time I was uh, 19 years old. I had just turned 19. You know, I'm a baby. Uh, I'm at the airport with my mom, about to go to Recruit Training Command in Great Lakes. My mom and my sister, they're both giving me their final hugs, and then they start crying, and then it makes me want to start crying. I'm just like, oh, man, because anytime my mom cries, like I just get like emotional, you know? And But, you know, I had to hold it together, though, you know what I'm saying, for the family. I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so I didn't cry, luckily. But my mom was crying, so that sucked. But yeah, so I get on the plane, right? First time I'm ever even on an airplane. Never even been on an airplane before. So, you know, I'm out there like thinking I'm I'm hot shit. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to fuck this plane up, you know what I'm saying? But then we start getting some turbulence and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'll start getting scared, start getting spooked out. But uh shit, you know what I'm saying? We make it all the way down to uh to Great Lakes. And I'm like, you know, trying to hype myself up. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to make uh, this boot camp my bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to kill it. I'm getting hyped up. I'm like, yo, man, like, as soon as we get there, bro, I'm going to be ready. Little did I know, uh, as soon as you get to the airport, they're already chewing your ass out. Like, as soon as, like, in front of everybody, people around, people walking around, they're like, yo, shut the fuck up. Stand the fuck at attention. They're like screaming at you, just making you their bitch. Like, it was pretty embarrassing. We're all just freaking, they got us all lined up, and I'm just stiff as hell. I'm like, oh shit, like, I ain't even expect to, you know, like, for it to already be boot camp, basically. We're in, in the airport. So, they line us up, and they make us tuck our shirts in and all this shit, and then they're like, yo, get the fuck on this bus. So, we gotta go get on this bus. And then we all got to sit down and the bus is just like silent, like nobody's saying anything. And they got these TVs in front of us. It was almost like some brainwashing camp or something. That's what it looked like, like some shit you see in a movie. But anyway, uh, so they're sitting there. They got these TVs in front of you. It's like, yo, you're going to be in boot camp for eight weeks. And it's telling you all this information like. Basically saying like, yo, you better not be no bitch. That's basically what it was saying. But they're giving you all this information like, yo, like it's going to be a stressful environment, but be prepared and stuff. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I'm ready. So we get all the way to recruit training command. This is the very beginning of boot camp. And the second they march us in, it's cold as hell too. February uh, and Great Lakes is cold. It's a blizzard outside. We get inside and then the first thing they do. They're like, yo, everybody, pull out a cell phone. You got 60 seconds to call your loved ones and tell them that you made it, you're alive, and then put that shit back in your pocket. So I'm like, all right. So I call my mom. I'm like, yo, mom, I'm here. I'm alive. And she's like, oh, okay. I love you, babe. Okay. All right. Bye, mom. Hang up. And then from that moment on, they just keep you up for like, shit, it had to be like three days, man. They keep you up for three days. Like three straight days, you are awake and they got you either standing up like like you can't like be chilling. Like you got to be like, you know, straight up and they got you eating this freaking uh, this weird food when you get there. Well, the food wasn't bad, but you they just don't let you go to sleep and you're like dozing off and they'll yell at you and you just got to stay awake. Uh, they got you sitting Indian style where your legs start hurting and your knees start hurting and they're yelling at you for any little thing you do. If you whisper, if you do anything, they'll yell at you. Anything. If you even look at somebody, they'll yell at you. Uh, if you call somebody sir and they're not a, they're not an officer, you get yelled at. You know, I'm from the South, you know, like it's a sign of respect that you call somebody who's older than you, sir or ma'am. I called this dude, sir, and he's like, do I look like a fucking sir out of you? He's like screaming at me. I'm like, oh, my God, because I didn't know any rank. So, yeah.
Uh, three days go by though. Literally the most tired I've ever been. I've never been so tired to the point where I, I'm not even tired anymore. Like it's almost like I got like like a reawakening or something, and I was just like running on autopilot. Like I felt like I was on. I've never been on drugs or something, but I felt like I was on drugs. Like I was just like running on fumes, and then they finally let you go to sleep. Finally, and I'll never forget this <laughs> when I. When I finally got to lay down in that bed and close my eyes, it felt like I literally blinked. Like I literally just blinked. And then like a second later, we were getting screamed at and waking up at four o'clock in the morning. And that was the first day of boot camp. Worst day of my life. So that's my story, y'all. Peace.